The bias use and preparation sample will have several different samples on your mounted tag board. The first is that you will cut a piece of bias fabric that is two inches in width and five inches long, being careful to leave the tails at both ends. You will recall that to cut your bias, you will fold your fabric at right angles to the salvage. Once you have the fold, you will cut on the fold and then you will measure out two inches from that cut edge. Mark it with either a pen or a pencil or chalk. And then you will want to have it five inches in length. Again, remembering when you cut to fold your fabric back so that you have the point at each end. The point is critical because when you join the bias together, you must have the point in order to retain the actual stretch of the fabric. The first sample that you will mount will have the two inch width, five inches of length, and will be labeled cutting bias. The second sample that you will show will be a two-step process so that you will be able to recall how to, to join the bias together. You will place your bias strips right sides together at a cross. It must be at the cross so that when you stitch your quarter of an inch in, you then can press the seam open and your stretch remains. When you feel your fabric, your stretch must remain in order for the bias to function as it should. When stitching, you will do as you do with any other seam. Start in half an inch, reverse stitch, stitch to the other end, reverse stitch, press the seam open. Simply pressing the, putting the presser foot against this raw edge is an adequate seam allowance. You do not need a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Second sample will then show you joining the bias. The first will be the right sides together with a pin holding it together so that you can see how to place your fabric when you actually join the bias. The second will show the joined seam with the seam pressed open, wrong side mounted up, labeled joining the bias step one, joining the bias step two. Bias tape may be purchased in a package in the notions portion of the, the fabric store. The bias tape comes in a variety of colors, but often you cannot find a color that will exactly match the garment that you're making, or you want the trim to be a part of the fashion fabric rather than a contrasting color, which means that you can make your own bias tape. The, the, the final sample for the bias use and preparation will again take you back to cutting the bias. This time your length will be 9 inches in length, being careful to keep the points at both ends, and one and a half inches in width. The measurement is determined by what you would like for your finished bias tape width to be. In this case, I wanted my bias tape to be three quarters of an inch, which means that I needed to cut it twice the amount of my finished width. Your sample is going to be nine inches long, one and one half inches in width. Mark it. Cut it with your shears flat against the table as always, remembering that as you cut on the bias, it's going to stretch a little bit. You are then ready to prepare your bias tape. You will take it to the ironing board 
And the first thing that you want to do is to find the center of the bias tape. And I have marked the center with a pen. You also could use dressmaker chalk, chalk or the disappearing ink pen. The next thing that I am going to do is to press one raw edge in so that the raw edge comes right to the pen and I am going to press it the same distance from the bottom to the top. You will want some steam in your iron. You will want to go slowly and carefully so that this edge remains the same distance at the top, the middle, the bottom. Once that side is pressed in, you will bring the other raw edge to meet it. Do identically the same. Start at the bottom, press to the top. You will then have constructed your own bias tape. As you mount it on your tag board, it will be labeled bias tape preparation.